In this video, we are going to find the x and y intercepts of the graph of an equation. Let us look at our first problem. We are first going to find the x intercept. So in order to find the x intercept, we replace y with zero and solve for x. So we have three x plus four times zero is equal to 12 which means we have 3x plus 0 is equal to 12, which means we have 3x is equal to 12, and which means we have x is equal to 4. So we write our x-intercept as 4, 0. Okay? And that is how you find the x-intercept. Now let's find the y-intercept. So we say y-intercept. And to find the y-intercept, we simply set x equal to 0 and solve for y. So I'm going to replace x with 0. So we have 3 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 12, which means we have 0 plus 4y is equal to 12, which means we have 4y is equal to 12, which means we have y is equal to 3. So we write our y-intercept as 0, 3. Okay, and that is how you find the x and the y intercept of the first problem. Now let's find the x and y intercepts of the second problem. So we are just going to do the same thing and we are going to replace y with zero and solve for x. So we have x over five plus zero over three is equal to one, which means we have x over five plus zero is equal to one, which means we have x over five is equal to one. And if we multiply both sides by five, we get x is equal to five. And we write our x-intercept as five, zero, okay? Now let's find our y-intercept. So we're going to write y-intercept. And again, we replace x with zero and solve for y. So we have, 0 over 5 plus y over 3 is equal to 1, which means we have 0 plus y over 3 is equal to 1, which means we have y over 3 is equal to 1, which means we have y is equal to 3. And we write our y-intercept as 0, 3, okay? And that is how you find the x and y-intercept of the graph of an equation. Thank you so much for watching and remember that you are amazing.